So I think, you know, the interview is similar to the essays in that it showcases areas that maybe not be covered in your application and then is an embodiment of things like loyalty to the institution, nation, peers, and self. It gives examples in your life of how you acted ethically, how you've acted as a good teammate, how you've shown certain things that you want to uh, tell the interview board, the interview board who's ever interviewing you. And all of these interviews, what you want to do is you want to tell that story. So they're going to ask you certain questions. And I, and I, what I firmly believe is that every question, you should have a story that goes along with it. If they ask you an ethical question, it should be a story of how you practice ethics. If it's a question about diversity, then it should be talking about what's an experience you had that shows this diversity. So you generally answer these questions with a general statement about what you believe about the answer, to answer the question directly, and then follow it up with an example, an example from your life. So obviously ahead of time, you need to figure out what those examples are and kind of what, what you know, kind of get these examples or create examples through experience that can then allow you then to be able to answer these questions smoothly. Um, the other thing I think that's important that I mentioned in the essay preparation also is you really have to understand the characteristics and what the military values. And the military is is a team. It's it, you're, you are either a leader of teams you're part of a larger team. The more that you can show that you're a teammate, that you're a selfless servant, that you're somebody who puts others above themselves will come out better in an interview than going into an interview and telling them how great you are or all the things that you've accomplished. While that's great, and we certainly want to know that in these interviews, and the interviewer certainly wants you wants to know these things from you, I think you're better off by talking about selfless service, by talking about being a great teammate, and talking about how it's an honor to lead soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines as an officer in the military. And that is really, you know, if you can understand that that's the way that the people who are interviewing you look at life, then what you can do is you can shift your thinking and kind of think through these kind of things and make sure that you reflect also those values too. So here's some general tips um, on the interview in general here. Okay, so this really applies to almost any interview, but you should practice the interview questions ahead of time. Now, I have examples in my books uh, for both questions that ROTC and the Service Academy are, are going to ask you, but they follow a general template. There might be a curveball here and there, but generally it's going to be very similar question set. And if you can practice these question sets ahead of time using mock interviews or other types of, you know, ones where you practice this either alone or with somebody else, uh, that can be very, very beneficial for you and and really kind of give you that confidence. Uh, I normally work with my candidates via Zoom uh, video conference, and I can tell you that the uh, uh, the performance that you have from the first time through the third time that we that I work with somebody over several hours, the the uh, improvement is tremendous. And so getting that practice ahead of time and practicing, particularly with somebody who's in the military uh, or somebody who's retired from the military can kind of give you an idea of whether or not you're on the right track regarding uh, the interview. As far as on the interview day itself, Arrive in the general location of the interview, not where the interview is being conducted, but make sure that you go uh, get there enough in advance so you get parked, you're, you know, you're not late. Maybe you can grab a cup of coffee or something that, like that to center yourself before you go into the interview itself. Arrive at the actual interview location about 10 minutes ahead of time, uh, not too much later than that. Uh, just so that you're there and you're ready ahead of time in case they want to take you a little bit early. Dress for success. Um, suit and tie is generally uh, what you're looking at with civilian uh, wear. I, I 
As far as the tie goes, I'm um, neutral on that. I think you're fine one way or the other. But suit and tie, you can't really uh, go wrong with that. I think if you are in a military organization in high school, like Civil Air Patrol, Junior ROTC, Sea Cadets, you should wear your uniform to these interviews. What this shows is propensity to want to serve, propensity to be in the military, and can make the difference in some cases, okay, in getting a scholarship or getting that nomination or getting a principal nomination, uh, it can really make a difference there. So I think if you have your military uniform, I would highly recommend that you wear that uh, to the interview. And then finally, you know, when you get done with the interview, uh, you know, sending out a thank you email to whoever your interviewer is, if you have their email, which shows that kind of respect and shows the importance that you put in, put on an interview. And I think that should certainly not be overlooked. To learn more about our Service Academy and ROTC online courses and other services, please visit our websites at gainserviceacademyadmission.com and rotcconsulting.com. We have larger courses on how to get into West Point, the Air Force Academy, the Naval Academy or the Coast Guard Academy, as well as courses on Army, Navy, and Air Force ROTC. We also have concentrated courses that cover interview and essay preparation and passing the Dodd-Murb medical exam. Please don't hesitate to contact us at our websites if you have any questions.